those remained even at the halfway stage of the latest LV County Championship match between Middlesex and Worcestershire at Lords, and this is the best of the action of a shortened second day. Middlesex, having bowled out their visitors on the opening day for 313, resumed their reply on day two after a half-hour delay with the innings just an overalls, and the informed Scott Newman was soon on the move. Stephen Finn would probably have had dreams overnight of scoring a big hundred after being asked to open the innings as night watchman, but having survived for half an hour in making three, he was the victim of a poor call from his partner and some excellent fielding from Alan Richardson, who reacted quickly. With Finn out, the normal opener, John Simpson, arrived at the crease and guided the ball to the third-man boundary to get his innings underway. He was dismissed thanks to a clever bit of captaincy from Darrell Mitchell, who placed Moeen Alley at leg slip, and then watched Simpson obligingly place the ball straight into his hands. Simpson was gone for nine at 38 for two, and that meant something of a rebuilding job for Middlesex to do, with O.A. Shah joining Newman. Emotions would have been running high for Shah, who was playing in his final ever match for his county after being released last week following a 15-year stay at the club that he joined as a 16-year-old. How he wanted to make this innings count. It was Newman who initially impressed, though, as he moved easily to his eighth 50-plus score of the season. This half-century had taken him 64 balls. He took his own tally to 78 in the afternoon session, when he was surprisingly out with a total of 114, caught by Shaqib Al-Hassan in the deep, in spite of connecting well with a shot off James Cameron. David Milan was in next, needing just 10 runs to take him to 1,000 for the season. Alas for him, he'd made just nine when he was unlucky to be caught by the wicketkeeper off his glove. That left Middlesex in 131 for four, but Shah, with much to prove, was still there. The man expected to join Essex next summer was growing in confidence, though, as he hit Shaqib for a six. An attempted repeat of that shot almost let his downfall. Somehow, Worcestershire missed the chance to run him out from slip. Dan Housko, in a rare appearance for Middlesex this summer, showed how to play the Bangladeshi skipper with this glorious shot. Shah was halfway to his aim for this match by reaching his 50, made off 115 balls. It was his fourth of the season, and he was now determined to make it his second ton, a perfect way to say farewell to his employers. He and Housko had added 67 for the fifth wicket when Housko on 32 also fell to the leg slip ploy this time off the bowling of Ali. Neil Dexter then joined Shah to support him towards his 100, while also trying to give his side a first innings advantage. The Middlesex skipper had a life, a tough one, as this inside edge was put down by a sprawling Ben Cox. And alas, that was the last of the action as the weather quickly closed in in the capital, with the home side on 244 for five, still trailing by 69. Shah, though, is still there in what is also his 200th first-class game for his county, and he now needs just 30 more to sign off in style. Dexter is with him on 26, but all eyes will be on the former England man on day three to see if he can reach three figures. Worcestershire are, meanwhile, still desperate to win this match to 